everybody and welcome back. Hope you guys have all had a swell week. Windows were the main project this week and got quite a bit done and fell short on a very crucial, crucial point. So let's roll a few time lapses and I'll be back with you guys in a moment to discuss what went on. As you can see from the time lapses, things were going quite swimmingly until I hit this point. Um, I guess the pressure was just too much for this uh, fairly thin piece of glass and it broke. And I want to show you guys all that this is not a wavy piece of glass by any means. You can kind of see the reflections here and the lines move. You can see it's actually perfectly flat. So it's not a terribly old pane of glass, but I put a lot of time into making this glass clean. For reference, here's the one I haven't cleaned yet, and you can see all of the paint and the stuff all over it. Uh, so, you know, probably lost uh, an extra hour and a half of my life trying to clean this glass, and then it broke on me. <laughs> um, I mean, it's okay, I'll, I'll just have to go get another pane of glass. Um, the shop's not too far away from me, but of course, exactly when it's broke was like 4.50 on Friday. Uh, and the shop closes at 5 and they're not open until Tuesday. <laughs> it's just like, oh well, thanks. So this will have to wait till this upcoming week. Or I can go get a new pane of glass for both of the windows. Nice thing about it is this stuff is quite thin. And I was really considering replacing it anyways because the glass is so thin. So we'll get a nice, thicker, modern piece of glass for this. And it won't be no big deal. But because this glazing, which is the DAP I use, uh, DAP 33, uh, although I am really interested in the Sarco stuff, um, I just don't have any at hand. And of course, this stuff, the DAP, does take a long time to skin over or dry. From my experience, about a week to a week and a half, sometimes two weeks, depending on the humidity. And of course, it's been raining here and cold, which neither helped the dry time for that. So I wanted to get this stuff in here as soon as possible. So it just adds three days to that process. So just three extra days, I have to have this very ugly board on this window. One thing I'm quite happy with is how all of the wood filler and the patch here that I put on here uh, came out. You can't really tell that that's a completely separate piece of wood right here. These are the seams. I think it came out quite well, especially considering just how dinged up these windows were. Same thing with the other one, came out very, very beautiful. And definitely turned out to be quite the worthwhile adventure. So on to the next thing, which of course is everybody's favorite topic. Uh, it's more tuck pointing because there's lots of it to do down here. So let's get to that and I'll be back with you guys in just a moment.
So here we are. Got quite a bit of this done. Big thing is uh, these windows are now sealed along the frame, which was a really big deal because the amount of cold air blowing in from these things was crazy. I mean, you could see in the video now, you could clearly see daylight out of them. Of course, this isn't the only window that's like this or the only opening here in the basement. In fact, almost all of them have this exact same problem, which is why it's so, so very difficult to keep the house warm, especially the basement. Uh, there's just a lot of holes to plug. Um, and slowly as I go through and plug more holes, it gets warmer and warmer, which is nice. Got fairly lucky with the sill itself. It was actually in good enough shape to be able to stay in here. Uh, there's enough good wood in it. Uh, there's a little bit of rot, but nothing too terribly crazy. In many ways, kind of the complete opposite of this one because this one, as you guys remember, was completely rotted out. Uh, and I was able to take a screwdriver and push all the way through it. Which if you guys know anything about wood, that's a really, really bad sign. Uh, but luckily I didn't have to do that here. You guys probably saw on the time lapse of underneath the sill, however, there were quite a few loose stones. So I took those all out, cleaned out the cavity, pushed them all back in, and filled it back up with quite a bit of mortar. And yes, I did backfill a lot of it as you guys probably saw on the time lapse. Uh, you have to make sure when you're doing this that you don't just put the mortar around the stones as they go in. You need to backfill everything and then push the stone into it. And we got this side done as well, so things are starting to look quite, quite good down here. I mean, it still looks pretty bad, but better. We're always getting better. One thing I didn't notice until about two weeks ago, though, is this right here. This wire, we had our internet installed about a year and a half ago. Uh, this is where the guy decided to install it, right between the sash. Uh, luckily, this is just a chunk that's a, a very small one. It's not broken all the way through. Uh, so the outside, the piece of wood is actually still fairly intact. Uh, but dude, come on, man. Like, what are you? So that's a rather, rather annoying problem that I'm going to fix here very, very soon. And hopefully it'll go back together and glue up rather nicely. It also looks like he wasn't the first person to do it because there's another pretty large hole right above it up there where you can actually see straight outside. I get woods the easier, you know, substrate to send a wire through, but come on, man. It's also why I get very weirded out by having professionals here in the house because in this day and age, or I don't exactly know what's going on, but most people really just want to take the shortest path to getting something done and not thinking logically, hmm, can I put this through an actual window, the actual frame of a window? Yeah, sure do it. <laughs> it won't be a problem. So at some point this week, I will have to take the internet line apart, down, run it through the beams like it should be, just like you would a normal electrical cord. And that way it's actually inside the walls and not just dangling here in the basement like it has been for, well, since it went in. Which is trickier than you think because Kim, my wife, uses the internet for her work. So it can't go down when she's working. And she works fairly early and goes fairly late. So usually about the time I'm awake and it's daylight out is when she's working. So it, it makes things rather difficult. Hopefully it's fairly easy to disconnect and reconnect outside. Um, it should be a simple process of, you know, take a photo of what it looks like before I disassemble it, disassemble it, and then run it back through and hook it back up using the photo I took. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's just that easy. So that's gonna do it this week, guys. And yes, I'm aware it wasn't a ton of work this week. Uh, to be kind of honest, I kind of hit a wall this week a little bit. I just wasn't feeling great. Not as in like sick or anything like that, just not my usual self, let's say. To be honest, I think a lot of it had to do with just the weather being terrible. Uh, rainy and it got cold again, and we were just having those little slight glimpses of summer and I was, dreaming about being out back outside and doing the really important work of restoring the facade of this really, really beautiful home. And I just can't, I can't wait to get back to that. Right now, pulling into the house, there's a big tarp on the front and it's just not terribly attractive. And I think it hurts me a little bit every time I see it. Thank you guys always uh, for all of your guys' support. You guys getting as much enjoyment out of this as you guys do is one of the main reasons and the main factors that keeps me pushing. So in very, very real terms, I couldn't do it without you guys. Um, and for that, and for this opportunity, and, and for the ability to do this, I am eternally grateful to you all. So thank you so, so very much. 
Have a very, very happy Monday, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.